So, have I left out anybody? No, we are there. Are you guys ready? Good. Um, we actually make this statement further to the one that was issued by um, our party leader, the Honorable Raila Molo Dinga, on, on, on the matter of the budget, a very important matter, for which was, uh, he received the necessary criticism, some of them empty threats. Um, so this is a statement by Azumio Lamoja One Kenya Coalition Party on June 14th, 2024. And entitled Kenya Kwanzaa Regimes 2024-2025 Budget Estimates and Finance Bill 2024 are uh, a monumental betrayal of public trust. Good afternoon and thank you for honoring our invitation to attend this important press conference. The Azmiel Omoja One Kenya Coalition Party convened to discuss the budget estimates 2024-2025 and the Finance Bill 2024, assessing the nation's overall condition and the impact of the Kenya Kwanzaa regime. We now wish to make the following announcement to the Kenyan public regarding our position on the two matters. On the number one item, budget estimates 2024-2025, in February, we informed Kenyans that the Kenya Kwanzaa's economic proposals, policies, and plans were unsound, unrealistic, and unrectifiable. This regime's preference for self-interest over the nation's well-being is evident in the review of the 2024-2025 budget estimates. Indeed, the regime with a contemptuous attitude towards a common Kenyan has revealed his deep betrayal of the hustlers it claims to serve. The budgetary allocations do not promote economic growth but betray Kenyans. This regime has concealed its true goals of maintaining an oppressive and equal system benefiting a select few elites under the illusion of progress. Kenya Kwanzaa's prioritization of selective shareholder financing or financial gain of the needs of Kenyan citizens is a shameful decision given the country's high living expenses, high poverty, and unemployment. Indeed, the regime's continued allocations to state departments and agencies that duplicate county functions exemplify a lack of concern for Kenyans' well-being. The budgetary process lacks transparency and accountability, indicating a government operating with impunity and disregard for consequences. Indeed, from the CSEs, PSEs to the chair of the House Budget Committee and the printed budget books, all have uh, who or what should Kenyans believe. This is a continuation of KK's culture of duplicity and lies to the point they have forgotten what they lie, what lie they told Kenyans <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> the Kenya Kwanzaa regime's 2024-2025 budget, despite its lofty and imprecise private jets and transporting obscenely large delegations overseas in the name of benchmarking that they could not borrow or learn how these nation states have been reduced have actually uh, been reducing taxes to stimulate the economic uh, economies and be able to create jobs. I, this is actually all of that benchmarking is short of puzzling. Uh, uh, the headline in one of the UK papers, um, which is basically the, the <laughs> elections are next month in, in the UK, um, and, and both the Conservatives and Labour uh, overdoing each other and showing which of them, which of the, the two formations will reduce taxes. And it is the opposite in our country. This justly to please their Washington masters is exemplified by the absence of genuine public consultation and supervision. And by Washington masters, of course, you, you also know that is where 
the Bretton Woods are actually based, lest you think we are attacking any other regime, we are not. It is our contention that despite the budget estimate 2024-2025 hyperbole, flowery language, and complicated figures, it simply does not stimulate economic activity. It does the opposite and seeks to tax every adult Kenyan 24,000 shillings more, additional to all what we all know as, for example, the housing tax and the very lean pay slips. Ladies and gentlemen, this can only be termed as a reckless race to the bottom. I don't know how many times this year Zindungu repeated the words bottom up, bottom up. So it became so boring. The Kenyans have lost touch with that kind of physiology. Do not take 